So here's the way that I used to teach diving. And this might be the way that most of you still teach diving and that's totally okay. Uh, I just wanna show sort of the direction that I'm starting to go now and, and talk about why. So here's what we used to do. Starts with a set, boom. That's step one. Step two, set, step, diagonal big step towards the ball. As we do that, we drop our head and shoulders down, hand goes to ground, right? That's step two. Step three, we put it all together, right? That's set, step, dive. All right, one hand behind, one on top. This knee protects you, right? Head steady behind the ball, Sa uh, head safe here in this little cage, right? And any variation of here works just fine, okay? That's what I have done for years. Um, and only recently have I started to get away from that. And now I'm gonna show you guys the way that I do it now. Um, and uh, it's sort of a two phase approach that builds directly from the uh, lateral movement um, stuff that I've talked about uh, in actually the very first GK for free tutorial, right? So now um, I teach the diving in two pieces. Uh, so we teach it with footwork, uh, and without footwork. So um, first I'm going to show you the footwork and then I'm going to show you the dive and then I'm going to show you how we put the two together. Uh, and this works uh, kind of one size fits all whereas you had a little bit different technique before with low diving and medium height diving. Uh, now we can kind of use everything uh, together. So it might be a little more time on the front end to teach um, but it starts to work a lot more seamlessly and efficiently and uh, also prevent some bad diving shapes. Uh, that come from a big diagonal step, which we'll also talk about soon. So it starts our lateral footwork, right? So the idea here is instead of stepping with this foot, creating a bad shape too wide, right? It doesn't actually lead to generating much power uh, when things happen fast. Um, to now to move this way, and we have a full tutorial on this, go back and watch, I'm not gonna get in a ton of detail. So I'm gonna shift one shift from blue to red. I actually lift this foot first while I drive this one into the ground. Pop, and that gets me over. Okay, so this will be the foundation for our shift and dive, right? When we have time to use footwork with a dive, right? So again, this foot moves first, this pushes into the ground, boom. Nice and efficient, right? No big reaching steps, feet stay under my armpits. Boom, right there. And again, go back, watch that tutorial on how to do that. Um, and now I'll show you the dive piece. Okay, so now the second piece. So uh, this is a little bit tricky and, and difficult when you work with keepers who have experience diving already and a habit of needing to step to dive. Uh, but when we combine this with the lateral footwork, you're gonna see uh, it starts to work really well. You also start to develop an ability in keepers to be able to be explosive and dive, right, off of no step at all. So start again from a good set shape. <coughs> We're just gonna, in one motion, learn to push into a low dive, right? So just like with the original one, head and shoulders are gonna drop, right? Close as I can down to the knee on this foot. Head and shoulders are gonna drop, hand to ground, right? And I'm gonna try to load my weight up on this foot. And as I drop, right, just push into the ground and get right into my dive. So no step at all, right? So think down, think hinge, right? Not sit. So that keeps my shape really good, right? So down and over, right? Hand shape's the same, head spot's the same diving line is actually still the same. So again, drop, load up on this foot, and push, right? And I'm not getting any slide at all on this surface, right? The idea would be on a better surface, continue to slide, continue to keep that hand down. And, and if you get stuck, right, you can always take that bottom hand off. I just don't love that habit of always taking that bottom hand off. I think it's so important to secure the ball. So now we're gonna work to put them together. We've learned our lateral footwork. We've learned how to shift, right? We've learned how to dive. Okay, so now we're gonna build a habit where with the previous technique, um, we only really had one size fits all for all dives. Set, step, dive, right? And we're having to adjust that over all kinds of different distances. Um, step too big, lose shape, right? Now we're gonna learn how to actually build really efficient, fast footwork that worked almost in the same amount of time that we could set and step, right? We can set and shift. Right, which actually gets my whole body now over to this red cone, whereas before, right, my leg was over there, but my body was still here. And if you guys have done this for a long time, you know that shapes like these don't lead to actual good attacking shapes. They actually lead 
to losing shape, it's spinning backwards, right? Taking a bad line. So funny that a diagonal big forward step in thought to attack the ball actually leads to bad diving shape. Um, so the idea here is that we don't get into those shapes because we don't have those big reaching steps. Right now the idea, here's how we put it all together. We set, shift, now I'm here already, load up on this foot, right? Go right into my dive, all right? So then when it starts to happen fast, all right, I'd get set, ball's hit, shift, dive, okay? Again, set, ball's hit, shift, dive, okay? And then you look at the old technique, right? Set, step, dive, right? Nothing, again, nothing wrong with the old technique. For me, uh, I think this shift dive way is a lot more efficient. I also really like the fact that now you have an option and a technique. Uh, ball happens faster if you're moving across the goal. You have to set and go right into a dive. Right now you have some muscle memory built up and know that at any point you can just be set, transfer your weight and dive without needing to use footwork. So if it's closer range inside of 12 yards, right now you can dive with push like an athlete without needing the step, right? So you'll even see a lot of times at a high level, uh, you see slow motion there, you see a lot of saving shapes that look like this, right? Off of this foot because the muscle memory of the goalkeeper is to step with this leg, right? So when they don't actually have time to step with that leg, they actually end up just kind of starting to lift it anyway because that's the muscle memory and then trying to push off this foot, but actually just kind of leads to a fall, right? Something kind of like this, right? And in some parts of the world, they actually teach that and coach that. Uh, I know some coaches call that the swipe. Uh, I think it's better if you can have balance, Right? And for that same save, instead of bailing on everything and losing body control, you can just set, push right into your dive. Right? I think you can do that in the same amount of time if this new way uh, becomes your habit, becomes your muscle memory. The other thing that's cool about this, um, what we learned here with the shift and dive also works just as well with medium height dives. And you can teach it the same way, now with the ball in hand, right? Shift. Right, now we lean and dive, boom, right there. And believe it or not, this also works really well with big dives, right? What we start to learn that, you know, I've kind of discovered through starting to teach it this way, is that we're actually so much more explosive and athletic when we're pushing with our foot underneath our body instead of pushing right off of these shapes. Right, where our foot's out in front of us. Um, and again, the big step when we don't have time for it, I can't catch up there. So I can't actually save and dive forward. I'm gonna spin, I'm gonna lose shape and go backwards. Uh, so even though our footwork and our movement here, I'm no longer stepping forward, I'm no longer stepping to attack the ball. Right, I'm moving almost 100% laterally, right? Just sideways. I'm able to save forward because my shape habit of keeping my head and shoulders out front allows me to still save the ball actually in the place that I wanted to save the ball when I was stepping forward, okay? The problem is that big step forward most of the time led me to dive backwards, right? So now I'm actually no step forward at all, but because I've got good shape, my head and shoulders are out front, now I can save the ball on that forward line without actually diving forward, right? And this actually leads to maintaining even better saving lines and shape when we start to push into bigger dives, right? Uh, very, very infrequently do I ever teach stuff that looks like this, right? I found that it kind of starts to happen organically when this stuff becomes our habits. Uh, so I hope this has been helpful. I know this is a little bit different, a little bit new. Uh, I encourage you to work on it and try it and see uh, if you like it, don't get offended Right? If you saw this and you saw me saying that the big diagonal step is bad, if that's the only way you've ever taught it or how you learned it, I learned it too. That's what I grew up with. And honestly, I taught it that way until a year or two ago. Uh, so I've had tons of success with our uh, academy keepers and with the pro goalkeepers I worked with doing this stuff. Um, I've probably gotten to a place with myself and when I go out and train and mess around, I can't totally do it. My habit is still to step forward 
a little angle so when you see me do this stuff you'll see that I actually shift and then I go into a shape like this and that's fine right because this foot even though it is a little bit forward still right I'm in a good spot where I can control my body and I can push and be really athletic so I hope this has been helpful um, new stuff right try it hope you like it this is what GK for free is all about all of us learning getting better uh, Feel free to give me some feedback. Tell me what you don't like about this, what you like about it. Thanks. I, I think it'll help. Uh, and thanks for tuning in to GK for free.